Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So I wanted to make a video in response to some emails that I've gotten lately. Um, so I get a lot of requests to build ICOs and I wanted to make a video that describes everything that you need in order to build a successful ICO from a technical perspective. So a lot of people ask me to build them a custom token, and that's great, I can do that, but you need a lot more than just a token to pull off an ICO. So I actually built a demo at uh, crowdsaledemo.com to kind of show you everything that you need from a technical perspective in order to build an ICO. So head on over to crowdsaledemo.com to check this out. And I'll kind of walk you through this and explain each part in this video. So in addition to a token, you know, you need an ICO website. This is usually a landing page, you know, like a marketing page, kind of like this, that explains your project, um, gives some details about it, you know, your tokens and things like that. Um, but, I, you know, I put some of this information here to talk about, you know, the service and, the, you know, the different things that you need in order to launch an ICO. So I'll kind of walk through those step by step. Um, yeah, you know, you need a website. You need a website that, uh, you know, earns trust and helps you to stand out, you know, because trust is one of the major issues whenever you're building ICOs. You want people to trust your project um, and not think it's just a scam. And that's one service that I can provide, which is to build something that's unique for your brand um, in order to help it stand out, in order for people to trust your crowd sale which is gonna increase the likelihood that you're actually gonna get funded. So this website typically should talk to the blockchain. Um, you know, it has awareness of the actual crowd sale. It can actually read data from the smart contracts to show how much, you know, you have actually raised in the crowd sale so far and know, you know, how much time is remaining, you know, each phase of the crowd sale. You know, this particular crowd sale is actually in uh, the public phase. And this kind of is a countdown timer to let you know how much time is left for investors to contribute. So the next thing that you need, in addition to a website, is you need a way to register users who are going to contribute in the crowd sale. And, you know, this is what you need a KYC portal for. So KYC stands for Know Your Customer. This is something that's required uh, in many cases, and in whenever investors are going to contribute in an ICO, you need to capture information about those investors and match them to their Ethereum address so that you're complying with regulations. So I can build a uh, KYC registration portal that captures information about investors who want to contribute in the crowd sale. And that's something I'm going to show you here in a second. And the last you know, kind of piece of the puzzle is uh, you know, smart contracts. So, you know, like I said earlier, a lot of people come to me and say, oh, I need a token. And that's right, you do need a token. Um, and I can build you a custom ERC-20 token to your specifications. Um, but you also need a way to sell the token and distribute it. And that's where, um, you know, smart contracts for the crowd sale come into play. You know, you need to build uh, smart contracts for the crowd sale that, that capture all the behavior that you want in your crowd sale, like, you know, multiple phases, um, you know, pre-sale, public sale, whitelisting, timers, uh, token vesting, token distribution. It's, it can get pretty complicated pretty fast. And that's something that you need uh, a good smart contract developer who really knows what they're doing to handle. And also there's a lot of different strategies for um, you know, holding a crowd sale. And I, something I can also advise you on is you know, um, different strategies you can take that will help you be compliant and also, you know, reach your fundraising goals. So let's take a look at, you know, this KYC portal um, that, you know, investors can view in order to register to participate in the ICO. So I'm going to go to either one of these buttons, this buy tokens button or purchase tokens. I'll just click buy tokens. And this is, you know, an example portal where the user will register in order to participate. So I'm going to enter some information here and say DAP University. It doesn't have to be a real name. Again, this is just a demo website. So if you want to go try this out, you can. Uh, don't worry, this data won't be actually used for a real crowd sale. I'm not going to you know, do anything bad with this data. You're welcome to just try it out yourself. Um, so I'm going to submit my email here. I'm just going to say plus two. Okay. And I'm going to create a password. Say... And creating a password is going to allow users to, you know, visit this uh, crowd sale portal. Again, they can log in later. So I'm going to copy an Ethereum address. I'll just go here and uh, copy this address from MetaMask. Paste it in. And I'll say I'm going to pledge 10 ETH or 10 Ether. This is the amount the investor would contribute to the crowd sale. 
And I'll say I'm in the United States. And also, this portal allows you to, you know, actually upload ID documents in order to, um, so, so that, you know, the admin of this crowd sale can verify your identity with a third party KYC registration service. And I've got some cool um, tools in the admin area that's going to help speed up that process so that you can submit all this information, you know, to a third party service in order to, you know, in order to verify users quickly. All right, so I just uploaded some uh, ID documents here by choosing the file. And I'm going to accept the terms of service for the crowd sale, and I'm going to sign up. All right. Now, this is uh, once the investor has signed up, they're taken to this uh, crowd sale portal that shows them how they can contribute in the crowd sale. I'll kind of walk you through some of the uh, elements here. Um, you know, we've got a menu over here that you know is branded uh, like the landing page. And, um, you know, we're taken to this page where we're showing how we can contribute with Ethereum. So we've given the Ethereum address uh, that the user registered with. Um, we also have some links over here to verify the smart contract on Etherscan, which you can uh, kind of go look at. And you can also verify the wallet address here as well. So I we'll also have a link to log out, but let's look at some of the main features. First, um, this takes you through a step-by-step -step process of what the investor needs to do in order to contribute to the crowd sale. So, like I said, this is the address that the investor signed up with. Um, it's something that you don't want the investor to be able to change this, so they need to contact support if they want to, because you want to use this for registration purposes. So that's the first step for the investor to know which address they signed up with. This is where they'll send Ethereum from. And next, the investor needs to figure out you know, how many tokens they need to buy. Um, we've got some phases in this crowd sale. We have a pre-sale and a public sale, and these are the start dates. So I'm past the public sale date, as we saw in the crowd sale countdown timer on the homepage. So they need to calculate basically how many tokens they want to buy and, you know, multiply it by the rate. And now we want to ensure that the investor has you know read the terms of service and that they agree to them before contributing in the, in the crowd sale and that's what step three is and lastly step four is to actually send the amount of ether that they calculated in step two to the smart contract address um, so they can do that with a wallet like you know metamask um, i could just uh, you know copy this address and i could send you know some ether amount here Let's say uh, from account one to the smart contract address, and I could say, you know, one ETH, right? And click next, and that would allow me to contribute to the crowd sale, but I'm not going to do that in this case. Um, and also, um, the investor can do this with a QR code, which is listed here. So that's an overview of, you know, what an investor can do in this KYC portal, and I'll go ahead and log out. And now I want to take you to the admin area where you know an admin um, who owns the crowd sale can actually you know download um, records from investors who have you know registered in the KYC process and you know they can approve them and reject them in order to add them to the crowd sale so here's the admin area um, we can see you know this is just some test data that I've registered with just my name and a couple different things um, some you know email addresses and you know the Ethereum address that I signed up with. So what you can do is basically, you know, we'll, we'll take a look at, uh, this is the last user that I signed up with. You know, it captures the investor's information. Here's the ID front and ID back. Of course, this is a fake ID. <laughs> I'll let you uh, guess what movie this is from. <laughs> Um, so it's got some information about the investor, you know, here, and here's the key, like, are they KYC approved yet? So by default, um, you know, this user will not be KYC approved. So, um, yeah, by default, when they register, they won't do that. And that's what the admin has to do. The admin basically has to take all the ID information and submit it to a third party service in order to, you know, verify the identity and approve them to participate in the crowd sale. So, um, you can you know, do that individually with each record, and you could approve the uh, admin like this, or sorry, the investor like this, click approve, right? And boom, there, they're approved. Oops. And we can refresh this. 
And also we could, uh, oh, and when they are approved, you know, the investor will get an approval email that they have, uh, you know, been added to the white list and are ready to participate in the crowd sale and then they can do it. And also uh, you can reject an investor like this, right? And the investor will not be KYC approved. So, um, yeah, that's a good way to do that. And whenever they're rejected, they'll also get, you know, a rejection email to say that they weren't uh, approved to participate in the crowd sale. And this admin area has got a couple of other cool features. Um, you can download a CSV of all of the uh, investors that want to participate in the crowd sale. And you can use this CSV to like bulk import a list of investors to a third party service. So you don't have to do it individually one by one. And if you wanted to bulk approve a bunch of records, you could you know, use a batch action and you know approve selected. Uh, we'll do that. And there you go. You've just approved a whole bunch of investors um, to participate in the crowd sale in one shot. Now I could also, uh, you know, just reject them basically and approve them. And um, I can go to these filters over here and we can just look for any, you know, uh, investors that haven't been approved yet, filter them. And we can also download a CSV of you know, all the investors uh, that haven't been approved yet. And we can use that data to submit to a third party KYC service. And yeah, that's a really useful tool whenever you have to, you know, whitelist a whole bunch of investors who have wanted to participate in the crowd sale. And that's an example, you know, a tool that I've built that allows you to do that quickly. So that's it guys, that's everything you need in order to build, you know, a crowd sale on Ethereum. Um, you know, don't forget, you need a crowd sale website, a way to register, you know, users in the crowd sale, and also you need some smart contracts. And this is all a lot of work. Um, but these are all services that I provide. So if you're interested in, you know, building something like this, feel free to contact me at gregory at dapuniversity.com, or you can just click, uh, you know, this email address here or this, uh, I'm interested button at crowdsaledemo.com in order to contact me about building an ICO. So I hope you liked that video. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.